I want to start talking about obstacles to spiritual growth, things that we face daily, and more so now than ever before. Um, I'm talking about in the last three months, since mid-December, about mid-December, it has gotten increasingly worse, the battle. The external battle and the internal battle. And I'm going to um, talk about those two different things. The external obstacles and the internal obstacles. There's so many of them that I don't think I should do it in one video. In fact, what I'm going to focus on in this video is one external obstacle, and that's people. Other people. Other people, I would say, are the biggest distractions to self-growth, spiritual growth, obviously drawing nearer to Jesus. Because they take your time, they take your energy, and sometimes they can take your soul. I'm being very serious. Very serious. Um, I'm separating from people. Having all, I'm all people. I'm talking all people having minimal contact, necessary contact. Um, I I see a lot of unhealthy people, and the only reason I would have any health at all, I'm talking mental health, is because of Jesus Christ. There's a lot of mental illness out there, folks got to be on guard in it because a lot of mental illness is affected by demonic forces. That's reality. <clears throat> I have one person right now who's absolutely obsessed with me. <laughs> I'm, just, <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm laughing. Does it, that, sounds, that sounds egotistical, doesn't it? He's obsessed because person doesn't know Jesus. They're looking for something or someone to hold them up. I've been guilty of it too. Yeah, that's, I've been guilty about obsessing with other people. No, no, I'm done with all that. It's not healthy. And what I mean by always texting, always sending things, um, reels or messages, you know, whatever. I'm not quite sure what it, what it's all about. But I know from experience, it's not healthy. And it's not that I'm unkind or anything, but it's like, <laughs> I'm not worth the attention. I am not worth the attention. Mm -mm. And I know I have that much humility to at least know that. Um, <laughs> look at me, look at me coming. I deserve that. No, it's not, it's bad, it's bad. But I see obsessive thinking. I think that that is something that has to be nipped in the bud. Um, and you do that through grace, with the help of the Holy Spirit. Lift up my heart and my mind, O oh Lord. Lift up my heart and my mind. Lift up my heart and my, my mind to all things noble, good, and holy. Um, of course, I'm focusing on the external, so I'm not going to go into thoughts too much. But all these things can affect your your thoughts. Um, <clears throat> people want to distract. People want to run your life. People want to tell you what to do when they haven't even experienced what you've experienced. That is, I tell them straight, no, don't do that. You no, know, unless you're unless you're in my shoes, back off. Um, it's that's very annoying very annoying. But once again, I had someone trying to tell me, you need to move on, you need to do this, you need to do that. What are you talking about? You don't know You don't know how far I've moved on or what I'm doing. You're just talking to me, talking. But they're all there lined up, you know, to give their two cents worth when they need to be working on themselves and their own lives. Isn't that always the case? The people that want to run your life, is there, are their lives going smoothly and perfectly? No, that's an external obstacle. 
and the people don't want to tell you the things you need to fix about yourself. No, Jesus will tell me that. Thank you very much. You have to you have to be strong in yourself with the help of, of grace, with the help of our Lord. You have to know yourself in him to be able to say no, 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 if these people are constantly in your lives. And if they're not constantly in your life, keep it that way. Because you'll have peace and you'll have separation. Isolation, isolation, isolation. It's key right now because everyone's got their own agenda now. There's people not right that you thought might be right. They've opened themselves back up to the world. They've gone back into the world and they're corruptors. They're defilers. People that want to talk to you about worldly things, subjects all the time. People who just want to listen to rock and roll music and not to uplifting music. People that want to watch worldly mo movies, not spiritual things. They're of the world. Stay away from them. I can't tell you what to do. I'm telling you what I have to do. The corruptors. The corruptors. That's what I'm going to call them. They want to corrupt you knowingly or unknowingly. You got to get rid of the obstacles, the outside bad influences, bad people, or wrong people that want to lead you astray. Okay, I'm not going to make this any, any longer now. There's a lot more to talk about, but you can wait.